Von Apremidi. Excuse my French. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Trust we're having a good day. Yeah, I need a response. Trust that day is going on well. Voila. Well, I've come across diverse meanings and definitions of communication. I've come to realize that communication is an art of speaking with people, expressing yourself, either through speaking, writing, even body language. I've learned to understand that communication plays a vital role in, in making your thoughts and your ideas known to people. But one definition that struck my heart is a definition by the world famous Wikipedia. It says that communication is an apparent answer to a difficult division between self and others, between private and public, and between the inner heart and the outer world. In essence, it goes to show us that communication is key in everything we do. Without communication, our destinations, which is the self, others, inner, outer, private, public, will just be there. You can imagine when you have a thought in you and you are not expressing yourself, you are not speaking up, the other person does not know what you have inside. I mean, we are not God, we are all mortal beings. So how would the person relate? Even I had, I, 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 I'm aware that the so-called principalities, riches, <laughs> would not even know what you have in your heart if you don't say it out. Yes or yes? Yes. Okay, so that's how powerful communication is. So that struck me. So that's what I'm, I'm conveying this here. And um, what I've learned is that communication is vital. It has to do with conveying from destination. And what conveys the thoughts from the destination is a transport, is a means of transport. Therefore, I can say that communication is a means of transportation between a destination to the other. My name is Oyinda Mola Aladibo. I'm a public servant. I'm here this afternoon to share with you what I've learned so far from Fordax Training Academy. Three solid things I've learned, a whole lot of things, but I'm summarizing them into three. I've learned to overcome stage fright. I've learned to be more confident. And I've learned to be more clear when speaking with my audience. The first point, overcoming stage fright. Um, before, I, before I enrolled with Fordax, I used to think within me that fine, I could talk. Every idea, I started within me and it finishes within me. I don't have the confidence, the, 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 the courage to go out to express myself, but I knew I could do it. So I knew it was high time I enrolled in a public speaking school. Um, like would always know, there's a butterfly that comes within you when you heard your name, <laughs> when you're mentioned, when you're called to come to the, to the front, you know, to the podium to speak. So that is it. I want to assure you that even after you know, after being taught about certain things, even after the training, the butterfly would not still go. It is still there. And that is basically what we learned here, that the butterfly would always be there. But in as much as the butterfly is there, just get over it and do what you have to do. And that is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I've learned to overcome stage fright. Secondly, I've built on my confidence. Like I said, I couldn't come out in public to talk, even though I could speak, even though I'm supposed to be a very good speaker. So it happened that we had a change of um, administration in my office. We had a new CEO. And he happened to be one of us. He green the system. And he knows all of us. And I know his ways. Um, there's, a, there, there, there's a class. He, he, he just, you know, designed. He wanted everybody to be involved. And he knows me very well. And I know that one day he's going to say, Oinda, come out and say something. So I didn't want to be caught unawares. And that is why I'm here. And I believe I've been able to achieve this. So I have more confidence now. Thirdly, clarity. 
When I got here, the first presentation I made, I thought I made sense. But when I got my results, and of course when I saw myself, I saw that my thoughts were not well put together. I was making sense, but it would have been better if I put them together. So right now, I am more clear, I could, you know, with the structure I've been taught, I knew how to start, I know where I am, even though I don't know what to say, because I know the structure, I could always swing out of any situation. So basically, these are the three things I've learned as a student at Fordax. So in summary, um, <laughs> I used to say to people that I like to kiss at a particular juncture, and I know you know what I mean by kissing. I mean keeping it simple and short. So what I've learned here is overcoming stage fright. I'm more confident and I'm more clear when I'm speaking with my audience. And to crown it up, I want, I want to encourage all of us. Nobody is too big to learn. In the words of Pele, he said, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing. So I want to encourage us to come out, enroll with Fordax, and I'm sure your best is yet to come. Thank you very much.